Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And today I'm back with one of my videos with my student who has been able to clear the FRM exam in this November 2022 attempt. And her name is Seerat and she has been able to clear FRM level one November 2022 exam. Okay, She's going to be talking about her journey of how she prepared, what has been her experience, what have been the challenges and what have been, how she has been able to manage those challenges. So with this, let us start with the discussion. Uh, Sira, thank you very much for joining in and taking yes, up sir, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. First of all, uh, you, just to give, give the background to the audience, what, uh, when you started deciding, when have you started decided to go for FRM? What were you doing around that period of time? So I started, uh, I decided in around November 2021 uh, because one of my peers gave FRM attempt and uh, I knew about FRM before, but I was also giving national stock exchange papers side by side. So that led me to thinking that, okay, maybe I have interest in this domain and I want to explore more. So I talked to my uh, peer who gave the exam and then I thought, Ki, okay, you know, let's go for it. Okay, okay. And then primarily you decided to start. So you picked up the book, you got the books from your friend or the Swager book by any chance and you started looking at the book first or you directly started the preparation? I look, uh, okay. So I also had a few of my teachers guiding me before who were in CFA fields and other fields related to okay. finance and knew about FRM. So they guided me. I didn't go through the books, but they guided me enough to know that, uh, okay, this would be uh, an appropriate field for me according to my interest and everything. Okay. And when when did, when did you start uh, preparing with us? Which month you started joining us? Uh, I talked to you in March and uh, I bought your uh, recorded lecture package around about then but it wasn't until uh, June, July that I started preparing very firmly and started focusing achese. before okay. that I had the books and the calculators uh, and I was going through but huh, it was like a slightly ki kabhi kiya, kabhi nahi kiya. Fir June, July okay, there was no consistency there was no consistency yeah. in the preparation okay. yeah. now when you that. Uh, when you started from June and July very sincerely uh, you were reading in the same order in the, of the Excel that I had given you or you were going book by book? I was uh, going in the same order that you gave. Okay. And you were, what was the uh, approach? So you were watching the video, reading the textbook and solving immediately or you were solving after some time or after a gap? First, I started solving immediately along mm -hmm. uh, with the books and I wasn't solving just the shredder I was solving AP side by side because mm -hmm. uh, once before when I just started with your uh, package in March or April I picked up AP I went through the questions and the books side by side so I was a bit familiar with AP rather than shredder so I started with AP uh, so I would say that would that helped me a lot here because yeah. I was familiar with those kind of questions. Questions, uh, right. Given AP. And so, yeah, you, also, you read the yeah. Swedger entirely or was there any other any other textbook? Like, were you also reading Garp or say no. Panic Turtle? No, no, no. I was advised, yes. but I didn't go for it. Okay, take it. So, Swager, you how many times had you have you read the Swager properly before the exam? Uh, going through the book, I I would say like uh, quants I went through three times quants, and okay. then uh, foundations I went through two times, and similarly with VAR and FMP, FMP also three foundations and VAR was twice. Okay, okay. So any particular reason because you thought that F FM, uh, the VAR book or the quant book would be slightly tough for you. That is the reason you gave one more reading for that. Uh, VAR, basically, I couldn't give, I wanted to give three readings to VAR, but I couldn't give because I was short of time. And since the VAR readings come at last, so that was a bit, that took a bit backseat there. But uh, when I went through like cons and FMP, I was already familiar with the concepts of FMP due to national stock exchange papers, futures, derivatives. I was already learning that. So I was familiar with that. Hence, I was able to give more time. Quants, I really, really liked the cons and concepts like time series and uh, other simulation bootstrapping. So I was really into that concept. 
सो उसको मेरे को रीड देना इजियर था क्योंकि मेरे को अच्छा लग रहा यू हैड स्टार्ट्स बैकग्राउंड बिफोर नो आई डिडंट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम इन योर लाइफ यू आर रीडिंग स्टार्ट्स या ओके ठीक है एंड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द वार बुक ओके व्हाट वाज योर अप्रोच टू बॉन्ड वैल्यूएशन again i would say i literally had fallen in love with bond valuation i liked that concept okay. so much yeah okay. i really i really liked uh, bond valuation i was first of all uh, a lot of people told me who had already given frm that you know this is a tough topic you are you know this requires a lot of time but bond valuation came very naturally to me i was able to interlink the concepts sath mein ki agar ek aise ho raha hai to ye dusra kyun ho raha hai so bond valuation was not a very tough thing for me it was more like ki theek hai this is something i like and i would i'll be honest i went at bond valuation after i gave the paper i was so into it so yeah bond valuation came very naturally to me it hadn't okay. i didn't put much thought into it okay and when did you complete uh, reading the entire textbook and solving our question man i would say it wasn't till last minute last minute tak sab hi chal raha tha simultaneously ये भी रिवाइज करना है ये भी ऐसा करना है वो भी करना है फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट टाइम आई वुड से एक्सेप्ट फॉर अ फ्यू चैप्टर्स ऑफ बुक 4 आई हैड कंप्लीटेड इट अक्टूबर 10th राउंड देन बुक 4 वाज लेफ्ट अ लिटिल अच्छा ओके हां एंड योर एग्जाम वाज ऑन नवंबर नवंबर 8 ओके यू यू हैड चूजन द स्टार्टिंग स्लॉट इटसेल्फ राइट या and any reason for that because uh, i heard your uh, voice note that said ki okay the it it has been noted significantly <laughs> level increase hota rehta hai so i'm like why not go for the starting dates actually the middle date november 10th i went for it not november 8th november 10th i went for so uh, i decided ki okay the middle date would be a better option na zyada easy na tough or time ka bhi manage ho jayega so yeah november 10th i chose okay and then when you completed one uh, reading of the entire so, so you watched the video you read the swagger you solved the question bank and then you read one more reading of the hmm. book right and you 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 solved the sectional test hmm i did sectional test fair uh, important concept quiz mock papers hmm what in, yes. what was your accuracy in those areas you were getting right good uh, answers sectional, sectional test went well uh sectional tests were good but sectional tests okay. i would be honest i said uh, i gave it after i gave the gap mock paper and Achha. gap mock paper actually scared me a little because i was able to score around uh, 4950 in that so i was like okay i need to improve a lot and not a lot of days were left then i gave sectional it gave me a little bit of confidence i talked to you as well you said ki theek hai analyze karo analysis of the mock paper was very important according to me That was, was the, the average key. score in the mock papers. Fifty. Fifty ही आ रहा था. Okay. So that and was, that at that point in time were you afraid? A little. I was uh, quite confident in my concepts because I knew. But जब मैं solve कर रही थी mock papers, I was saying कि okay नहीं आ रहा. आपके question banks में I was able to score and I was able to score in sectional but GAT mock papers or your intelligent mock papers even I wasn't able to score that well. So and, I was a little taken aback. and to toward the entire journey i mean uh, were you afraid from the perspective that okay you're still in college this is a professional exam aisa kuch no theek hai theek hai now when you went for the exam on the day of the exam what happened in that four hours and where exactly was your exam is it uh, in mumbai or uh, delhi janak delhi mein tha theek hai and you are in delhi basically so yeah. you ha huh, so you you are the, it's a local environment for you not mm-hmm. very new one okay so now when you day, went for the, on that day okay what happened in that first star jab aapne exam start kiya okay first question i would tell it was looking very easy but when you come to solve it not that easy wo aapko nahi samajh aata ki what trick there so okay. you, it was a probability question uh joint probability nikalni thi basic tha but trick nahi samajh aayi thi uski because answer nahi aa raha tha 
सो ऐसे क्वेश्चन थे कि आपको क्वेश्चन अगर आप ऊपर से देखो आपको सही लगेगा बट इट वुड स्केयर यू वेन यू सॉल्व इट सो आई वॉज ट्राइंग नॉट टू गिव अ लॉट ऑफ हीट टू दैट क्वेश्चन वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू मैंशन मॉक पेपर्स मे बी एंड गाप मतलब एफ आर एम मे बी द ओनली थिंग आई वॉज एबल टू मैनेज गुड वॉज माई टाइम दैट वॉज वेरी वेल मैनेज आई वुड से ऑन माई पार्ट बिकॉज आई वॉज एबल टू मैनेज द टाइम वेल विच इज वेरी 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 क्रूशल सो अगर आपको नहीं आ रहा क्वेश्चन गिव इट मिनट एट मैक्स यू नो टू मिनट्स दैट्स द मैक्स यू कैन गिव अ क्वेश्चन and you need to skip it aap atke nahi reh sakte us pe and that's what i did mujhe nahi aa raha i was like ki theek hai baad mein solve karenge aaram se go to the next question then theory questions again it was uh, question dekh ke sahi lag raha tha options aake it was confusing i would say ki main bahut easily that was again a plus point on my part ki i was not scared that easily ki theek hai i was a little confident on my concepts ki ho jayega mere se so uh, yeah in the group one of the po- one of the people to- uh, told a trick ki options d se padhna shuru karo okay never go from a b c d so that was another like major portion usi wajah se solve hua mera because when you go from d there is a clear cut answer d or c mein ya c or b mein oh okay this is interesting i i didn't knew about this yeah this this was matlab maine bahut zyada hi observe kiya tha and i told it to everyone after the exam ki aise tha so there was very clear cut answer lekin wahi agar main ek bhi question a se padhna shuru karti thi i was confused there and then okay so this was only for difficult questions where you have to just choose you have to yeah. take a calculated guess okay okay mm-hmm. and uh, out of 100 how many calculation questions were there and how many theory questions were there i was in the paper me it was like there was a lot of calculation 60 70% to tha calculation calculation question directly okay hmm because the trend general trend has been theory na that's why ha nahi nahi calculations to the okay there were okay. a lot of and you were you were able to pick up those calculative questions also properly that there was no uh, it was a mix of calculation with theory or it was pure calculation your calculation i would say like 30% the rest 30 to okay. 35% were calculation and theory and then pure theory okay and when you okay. when you attempted the exam uh, out of 100 question how many question you felt ke i am confident ke ye maine kiya this is this is what i can confidently say this i'm really being honest after the exam i'll like okay theek hai 40 clear cut hai uske aage mere ko <laughs> okay okay so above 40 okay. you were not confident okay theek hai yeah and but again that trick helped ki above 40 that you know reading from d that trick helped ha huh. so audience should list this is just a observation so and this is for those questions where you are you are not able to do a proper that's calculation sure. ha huh. hmm. so people will go and do every question c and d c and d <laughs> No 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 don't do that don't do that uh-huh. at all jahan pe sure ho wahan pe seedha hi padho yes so whenever you are not sure and you can want to take a calculated guess look for c and d and you might get a right answer that is what she is saying okay so okay now so when you came out of the exam you were you said 40 was the thing now what are the what are the quartiles that you have got i got uh 1 1 1 in uh, foundations quants and fmp and i got 3 in var Three in bar. Okay, so it, this might be because you, like you said, you got less time to read the bar mm-hmm. book, so that yes. slowed in a bit. But the third quartile, especially in quant, which lot of people are afraid of. Okay, I mean, mm. do you have anything to talk about it? Because I, I, I get to get a call from a lot of working professionals who say that I have not touched mathematics, I have not done any calculation for so long. Will I be able to do quant? is it very tough uh i would say you need a little background of mathematics basics hmm. but not a lot if you even start just with finance and frm you would be able to give good time and you would be able to solve it like theek hai mere jaise mat karna ki aap 3 4 mahine pehle hi baith rahe ho if you are not familiar with maths you need to give at least at least 6 months to it hmm. to prepare acche se so right. yes you you'll get familiar with it with time it's not okay. that yeah and now just three tips from your side with respect to anybody who is preparing for 
FRM level one exam, these three tips would help them too from your side. First and foremost, basic हार मत मानो चाहे जितना भी टाइम निकल गया कोई बात नहीं कुछ बिगड़ा नहीं है वो हो सकता है उस टाइम भी बिकॉज आई गेव अप माई सेल्फ ट्वाइस इन बिटवीन नॉट अ वेरी गुड थिंग यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व जस्ट बी वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट इन योर सेल्फ नॉट ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट बट हाँ कि यू वुड बी एबल टू डू इट डोंट अंडर एस्टिमेट योर सेल्फ फॉर एनी ऑफ इट सेकेंड एग्जाम डे के लिए डोंट अगेन डोंट बी स्केर दैट डे प्लीज डोंट महीनों की मेहनत है उस दिन अगर डर गए तो चीजें खराब हो सकती है बट जस्ट टेल योर सेल्फ यू नो इट ऑल जो सामने क्वेश्चन है वो पढ़ा हुआ है चाहे जैसा भी क्वेश्चन आया बट कॉन्सेप्ट यू आर फेमिलियर विद सो यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व इट इट्स ओके एंड थर्ड मॉक पेपर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मॉक पेपर देना एंड एनालाइज करना उसको मॉक पेपर दे के एनालिस मत छोड़ना एनालिसिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू यू नो स्कोर गुड सो येस एंड मॉक पेपर देने से आपकी टाइम मैनेजमेंट होगी जो टाइम मैनेजमेंट बहुत काम आएगी एफ आर एम डे में सो या दीज आर द्री टाइप्स वंडरफुल वंडरफुल आई मीन दिस इंटरव्यू इज गोट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट स्पेशली कॉलेज स्टूडेंट एंड दी वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल बिकॉज वॉट है they don't like you said like the second point is very interesting a lot of people when they go for the exam they find initial 5 6 question 20 question difficult they panic mm-hmm. and then whatever they know they end up screwing that also so right. keeping a cool temperament during the exam so your preparation is a different ball game your sitting of the exam is a different ball game exactly. so that actually you you picked up very well and like you said two times you were not able to uh, you not able to maintain that motivation you felt ki nahi hoga okay that that is going to come in your journey towards the exam every single mm-hmm. time you have to manage you have to go down and pick up pick yourself up but wonderful this entire uh, discussion is going to be very motivation for people yeah and that without any background also you can get first quartile in quant okay yes that is also possible So thank you very much, Sira. Thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us and helping and guiding other people. Yeah, thank you so much, sir.